Today on our 2017 Honda CRV, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Its part number is 118741. Now, this is what your wiring kit's going to look like when you pull it out of your packaging. It's a very straightforward application. Basically, in the rear of the vehicle, there's going to be a six pin connector. We're going to plug that into and also ground out this wire. That'll send the signals to our module box. This is gonna convert those signals into a usable signal for our four pole flat trailer connector. This is gonna give you right turn and brake, left turn and brake, running light signal, and ground. Now the box itself is designed not only to convert those signals into a usable signal, but it's also designed to isolate the trailer from the vehicle. So if you have any shorts or anything like that, it's not gonna be passed through into the vehicle and cause any problems. Also, you see the black wire here with the fuse holder. Now, this is designed to get its power from the vehicle, not from the lighting circuits. So any of the power being sent out to our trailer isn't draining on the vehicle's lighting. It's coming from the powered box itself, so we won't have to worry about any overload situations. Now, to gain access to our plug, we're going to be removing some floor coverings and such here in the back. We'll start with the main floor panel. Now we'll start on the outside edge of our scuff panel and we're gonna lift this up. You see it starts to release clips as we go along. And we'll get that set aside. Now just behind the handle here, this is your rear seat release. There's gonna be a little tab on top of that cover. You wanna pull down on that tab. You can lean that cover out. We're gonna set it aside. You see it's right here. Next we'll lift up on this corner when we do, you're going to see a small little tab come out there. Once that's out, we'll start pulling outward to release the clips along this edge. Now with that edge tipped out, we'll want to continue right up and pull out on the gray portion here. Now just in behind that panel, just around the corner, we're going to have our plug. It's wrapped up with a little bit of tape. Sometimes you can just pull it off of there. Other times you might have to cut the tape. You'll see the plug once we have it pulled up. We can just plug our electrical connector right into that. We'll take our connector, match it up, and slide it together there. You'll hear a click, and then you should push pull on it just to make sure you get a good solid connection. Just like that. Now we're going to use a small self-tapping screw. This one has a quarter inch head to secure our wiring. Now, in a lot of the harnesses, that self-tapping screw is going to come with it. This kit did not have it provided. Let's see, we'll just get it started in a nice solid piece of body metal there. Place the ring terminal on it, place it back in there, and then secure it down. And you really don't need to over tighten it, but you do want to make sure that if you try to wiggle the ring terminal, it doesn't move. Now we're going to tuck our wiring in close to the bottom. You see we've got plenty of four pole connector here. There's a little cubby hole right over here we're going to connect to. So kind of straighten this out. This is going to come out right underneath this edge. We'll take the back of the box. We want to use some rubbing alcohol on that to get any oils or anything that might be on there off. Then we'll grab the double sided foam tape. Get that put on the back. Peel that off. And now right in this area, there's going to be a little pocket. See it right there? Let's clean off that flat surface and we'll tuck it. We're wiring right in there and get it secured. Just like that. A little excess of the wire loom. Tuck that down out of the way. And then the four pole, we'll just bring it down and out the bottom here. Now we start lining up our fasteners again and just pushing them into place. You can work that weather stripping out as you go. You'll see down here there's going to be a little area that gives us plenty of free play on that four pole wire. So we'll just run it down there. At that point we'll be able to put our scuff panel back in. Now you want to slide the bottom of that cover back in place. 
and then just push it towards the outside. That'll clip in. And we can also put our floor pan back in. Now something I like to do to keep this looking a little bit nicer and tidy, just bend, fold it over on itself back and forth and then you can use the dust cover to keep it bundled up. Now when we're ready for use, reach in, I'm gonna unplug it and you can allow that to hang right over that threshold. It'll draw out whatever length you need to make your connection with your trailer. And then that weather seal is gonna make sure that it stays protected. So when your hatch closes, it won't get pinched. You do need to avoid, of course, the striker area that will cause damage to your wiring. The next step is to check underneath our dashboard. We're in the driver's side floorboard. This is the outside edge of the car. Your fuel release is here, hood is here. There's a fuse box right above it. If we look in the very top row, you've got one, two, and three rows. Top row, three over. If this is empty, if there's not a 15 amp fuse in there already, you can put in the one that comes with the kit. This vehicle already had a hitch on it. That's likely why that fuse is already there, but definitely check it out. If you need to place it in there, it is provided with the kit. Now to test out our wiring, we're gonna use part number I26. Just gonna simply plug in. Well, now we can go run through our lights and we should see them light up accordingly. All right, we'll start by turning on our running lights. Now we'll do the left blinker, right blinker, and brakes. With everything working properly, that's gonna complete our installation of the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number 118741 on our 2017. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.